What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the Gym Night Jets November 2022 release this video for you guys. Really hope you guys are excited for today's video today. I'm really excited to see what Gym Night Jets has in store for us. It's going to be quite interesting to say the least. So make sure everything is ready to go. Very excited for this. They just came out and man, I have no idea what to expect. Saw no future previews removed or anything. So I'm really excited and this is going to be awesome. So without any further delay, excited for a good month hopefully. Let's see what we got from Gym Night Jets. So scroll down down past the GA release for the 172 scale last month. We have the Gym Night Jets November, just November 2022 releases. Very excited for this, and it's going to be interesting. Man, we'll have to see what we get. Let's get started, everybody. Not wasting any further time. Let's see what we have here for Gym Night Jets. American Airlines Airbus A320 to start us out. November 103, Uniform Sierra, a nice CFM plane right here. Okay, very nice. So Gym Night did do this back in 2017. So this is another re-release, just like the 319 with Sharklet. And I think it's about time for all these re-releases. So personally, I think this is a pretty good release right here. The 320 is not a completely rare plane, but it's also not one that you're going to be finding on most retailers' website right now. So I think that's going to be a helpful re-release right there, and that should be quite helpful. Sorry, getting that centered up. So nice release right there. Probably just one for me with the CFM mold, but I think that will still be very helpful. So really nice way to start with November right there, and that should be pretty nice. Good job that starts out right there. Very nice. British Airways Boeing 787-8 Gulf Zulu Bravo Juliet Gulf. How about this? So this is a very popular aircraft, and it does appear to have the brand new or not new but i uh, gemini jets using the jc wings model on this aircraft this is going to be a really nice one if this was a dash nine this would be even more exciting but a dash eight is really really helpful for various collectors i think that's going to be a really good release right there for gemini jets so another fantastic aircraft right there and this will be really nice i can't remember if there's any really good dash eight British Airways uh, aircraft out there for the 787. I think this will be the best one thus far if Gemini is able to get the color and everything correct. So very excited for that release as well. And that'll be another fantastic release. Starting out really hot to start the month. I like it. Let's see what's to come from here, everybody. This is going to be crazy. British Airways with the flaps down. That's also going to be really nice. Uh, they haven't done a ton of uh, dash eights with the flaps down. So this will be really nice, but the same picture just with a flap down sticker. And it's four more dollars on the MSRP. So really nice to get to see that right there. And starting this month out really hot. I really like this so far. Very nice so far. Caribbean Airlines Boeing 737 Max 8 makes it in. Nine Yankee Charlie Alpha Lima. Really excited to see this aircraft as Aero Class 6 is back in the summer at some point. So I think that the Gemini one's going to turn out quite well. And it's really exciting to get to see this. And I'm sorry the pictures are refusing to load but it's just there we go a caribbean max 8 looks really nice i think the design is really helpful right there and anybody looking for that it's going to be really excited to see that so a really nice diverse diversity to start out with some really popular planes so jim Night jets fantastic job so far let's see if they can continue building on this let's see Delta Connection Airbus, or I thought it was going to be, uh, there's been so much talk about that darn um, uh, E-175 that I thought maybe it was going to be that. But no, this is the Airbus A220-100, November 103 Delta Uniform. Really excited to get to see this aircraft. This one turns out really well. I might get this one and sell one of my other two. I currently have two of these, but this is another very helpful re-release. This is the third iteration as there was one in 2017 and 2019, I believe, or 2018, 2019. It's been a couple of years, so I think this is another very good re-release. And this is just Gemini's forte at this point, just re-releasing planes that they've already done. Well, whether there's improvements or not so this is very exciting to see another delta a220 done and i think this will be another great aircraft for the fleet so nice to get to see that right there and that is another helpful release and a very healthy amount of diversity so far especially for north american collectors very nice that is 48.95 on the msrp very nice our Etihad Cargo, Boeing 777F, Alpha 6, Delta, 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 Delta Echo, I'm sorry. And this is going to be an interactive aircraft with the optional doors open and closed configuration. Another fantastic release right here. I think this will be a very nice aircraft for anybody that's looking for this one. If I can get the picture to load, that is. Sorry, the uh, computer's going a little slow on me here. But there we go. So this is a good looking aircraft right here. I think the interactive mold for the 777 in the one the form is a really cool addition. Now, I'd really like to get one of these at some point. This is a fantastic looking airplane. I really like all the designs that they have going with this one i think this will be a great aircraft for anybody looking for this one so once again 65 95 on the msrp not bad i'll be excited to see how that one turns out so another fantastic job right there from gemini very nice all right, FedEx Interactive 777. This might be one that I'm interested in. November 889 Foxtrot Delta. I'm really excited to get to see FedEx at Interactive 777. I don't have a huge use for this aircraft, but I do just really like the aircraft in general from the casting, the mold. Really want to get my first interactive aircraft. So this might be the opportunity to do it. I really like this aircraft and it looks really nice. So good job from Gemini right here. And the diversity out of this set has been really nice with two cargo planes, very popular uh, aircraft from Europe and America as well. So really nice job right here. And I think they're doing really good so far. Let's, so let's see what's coming up next. 
Alrighty, a National Airlines L-180 Electra. Very nice. November 5017 Kilo. Very nice release right here. So this is going to be a very popular aircraft in the 1 to 400 scale. Really good retro release right here. I don't know if I need this aircraft for any airports. So I do need to do some research on this. I would like to get it, but I'm not completely sure if I will yet. But it is a really good looking aircraft. I think National Airlines had a really nice presence. Not exactly sure where in the United States. Uh, not completely sure on that yet. But they seem like a really cool airline. I think they were back in the 50s and 60s and 70s probably is my guess. But that is a really good looking aircraft right there and i think that they're going to do a good job on that aircraft so another electra for the uh one to 400 scale and that's 5095 right there very nice that is it for the one to 400s that was very quick um yeah this was um I'm not going to say that this was your most stellar release, but this is also not going to be your worst release either. It's kind of in the middle. I would say it's a little bit worse than October, uh, to be quite honest, but this is still a very good release in general. I think there is several aircraft here that are very nice, and it is unfortunate that there's not anything completely new as they've done so many re-releases, but some of these aircraft are so popular that it's justifiable. So hopefully maybe going into the next couple months, we'll get some more new airplanes, but although the, uh, the FedEx 777 and the National Airlines Electra, I think are really nice additions along with the Caribbean Max too. So it's not the end of the world but maybe one or two more newer planes i guess with like you know the popular uh aircraft that haven't been done yet like jetly to 20s and things like that i think would have been helpful for a set like this but still a very good one at the very least i think they did a good job and i'm sure we're probably gonna have a max aircraft since this was so small we do let's see what we have out in the max all right we have a c-17 from the mississippi air national guard i like that choice right there and this is a really cool looking one you got the blue navy stripe right here which looks nice and another great c-17 for the uh one the 400 scale they've done several over the years so i'm glad to see them doing the mississippi one i think that'll be really helpful for anybody looking for that so nice effort right there on the c17 and that is it completely for one to 400 so the c17 definitely helps but again not your most stellar set but also not the worst in the world this will probably be a quiet month for most people and uh all reality but i'm not completely sure what to expect there so maybe some hit or miss stuff but ultimately a good release but definitely a nice one especially for people that have been collecting for a long time to save up but if you're looking for one of these planes and you've been trying to get re-release for a long time this is also a great opportunity with the airbuses for the uh, north american collectors the ba 788 Caribbean Max is also very nice, and the FedEx is really cool. So, nice one. I think the American 320 may just be it, but I might consider either the Delta 220 or the FedEx 777 and the National. But looking at this American 320, probably that will be probably about it. But still a really nice set. Let's see what 1 200 has to bring this month. I'm eager to see this. So, we have our 1 200 releases. Let's get started with an American Airlines Airbus A318 with the Sharklets coming out in November 93003. This aircraft actually got the logo on the winglet right after it was announced, which is quite interesting. I don't think this aircraft will represent it, but it's nice to see this finally coming out one to 200 again it's been several years i believe eight years so really excited to get to see this coming out and uh finally or sorry i'm trying to think maybe it was like three four or five years ago it came out with the other a319 one front so i can't exactly remember but i'm still excited for this aircraft i'll probably go get the in-flight one if i do choose to end up getting one of these but still excited to see more american airlines aircraft than one to 200 so nice release right there and this will give us some hints about what's coming in one to 400 possibly next month so let's see what our next aircraft is a uh, british airways a380 i think a really release would be very good in one to 400 but i'm very excited to see this one 200 re-release this is golf x-ray lima echo lima and it's very nice to get to see this this aircraft is so popular popular and it's a really nice one so i'm very glad to see gemini jets doing another iteration of it and i think this will be really helpful as the last one they did was was back in uh, 2021 at some point so really excited for this aircraft beautiful airplane and it's such a special one for various reasons very nice uh okay a comair ember j that's 120 brasilia november 137 hotel that is a very nice release right there highly doubt they're doing that in 400 but that is a very cool 200 scale release comair obviously had a huge presence and it's very exciting to see a ember 120 being made for them kind of surprised they didn't go asa asa had a really big presence on these but comair certainly did as well so this is very exciting for retro collectors i think that'll be a very good one for anybody looking for ember brasilia really cool plane glad to get to see that right there that is a nice various lineup right here it starts out very nice a condor Airbus a321 probably the yellow one delta alpha india alpha delta iad again makes it up to 1 200 this month this should be a pretty good aircraft hopefully the mold turns out well like in the cfm uh, design right there it seems like a pretty good size for 1 200 so not bad right there very nice love to see it very nice and then following that we have a eastern electra nice november 5507 so this is a very nice retro release and this is that fly East, eastern's uh prop jet delivery i think this is a really cool looking aircraft i'm sure this is going to come out one to four next month uh, again another electric that i don't believe i need so my brain if uh 
electra that i got ended up being the one electra for now but this is still a fantastic looking airplane i think they did a really good job with this one so i love the casting and this is ultimately a fantastic looking airplane really good job from gemini to assess this and i think this will be a really helpful release for one 200 retro collectors especially but there is something for everybody so far so let's see what the next aircraft is going to be another emirates a380 alpha 6 hector echo victor charlie excuse me try to say it all at once and this is probably going to be a normal livery which i think is going to be really good now i can't remember if they transpired this up from one of the previous releases the one 200 but yes just a fully normal emirates a380 that's really cool to get to see i'm sure several people are going to be excited about this unless they did one a couple months ago but i'm pretty sure this is the first time a one 200 emirates a380 normal livery has been done in quite some time so that is a really cool release and i think that one will be really good so nice job right there for emirates i think that'll be a helpful aircraft to say to at least right there very nice Flair Airlines 737 Max 8 very nice release Charlie Foxtrot Lima Kilo Delta this is a very good release and this would be a great addition for one to four next month but also for our one 200 collectors this is a very exciting aircraft Flair's obviously had such an uptick in their demand as of late or not demand excuse me but their presence as of late and it's been exciting to see what they've done so I think Flair's a really good airline I would definitely consider getting the 400 version I think that 200 one's going to be really helpful but you guys probably know what the Flair livery looks like it's a really nice looking livery uh, this is going to be Charlie Foxtrot Lima Kilo Delta. That is $190 hundred dollars and ninety five cents beautiful looking airplane love the details on flares livery very exciting to see gemini knocking that out very nice and this one 200 sets one of the better ones i've seen in a while okay at at i eight i eight ita i need to start talking airbus a319 echo india india mike november nice so this is really glad to, really excited to get to see this this is the first uh ita narrow body i believe we've got ita ita i'm not i think it's ita or something like that really nice looking aircraft right here i love the livery all the blue right there just looks so nice and then the green yellow uh green why can i not talk today green white red for the italy flag this is a really cool looking aircraft i'm sure anybody looking for this is going to be happy to see this this would be a very unique one to 400 release as well i i know i've been orientating so much about the one to 400 so let me talk about all my thoughts afterwards but for one 200 this is really nice and i think this will be very very exciting to see really good job on that aircraft right there very nice Following that, we have another uh, Twin Otter to probably round out this release, it looks like down here. This is a Tran uh, Bolivian Airways aircraft. This is a Quebec uh, Mike Alpha November. Very diverse right here. And wow, it has floats on it. Okay, very cool. I'm glad to get to see this. This is some really good diversity for the 1 200 scale. This is a very cool looking plane. Of course, you got the titles right here. Then you got some, uh, well, or I'm sorry, uh, I think these would be called uh, orcas. I think it's the proper term, but nevertheless, whales, orcas, something along those lines. I'm trying to get the proper name. Dolphins. That's what I was looking for. Dolphins. I'm sorry. It was not come to mind because I was thinking about that last delivery. But nevertheless, whichever phrase you'd like to use here looks really good with three of them. Then you got the water right here. Got, uh, I think these are ladders, would be my guess on that. And then you got eight Quebec, uh, Mike Alpha November. Then, of course, you got the tell TM, TMA really beautiful aircraft i really like the detail on this one i'm going to be really eager to see this if this, if i recall correctly this is the first aircraft gemini jets that's ever done with floats and that's really exciting to get to see so really cool and it'll be interesting to see how they cast that one never seen a floats aircraft 1 200 but that'll be pretty cool to say the least and that is it for the Gemini Jets November releases for 1 to 400 scale and 1 to 200 scale. So let's talk about these. So yes, it's definitely not the most stellar set out there. I personally thought the 1 to 200 set was really nice with some very good variety in there. There is something for everybody in that release and there's some very unique planes in there like these couple, these two retros along with the Ita and the also the... Um, twin otter right here really like that release and then for the one to 400 it is not stellar it, it, there is no other way to put it it's not your most stellar release but it's also not a bad one either there's definitely a plane to pick out if you are looking to buy one uh personally again just an american a320 for me i uh, really don't need another release even though you know it's fine to have another one so it's not the highest thing on the priority list and i'm sorry i completely forgot to recognize that the iae one was done in 2020 but for obvious reasons that's why i didn't think about that first but still nice to get to see the CF cfm registration get done again and again i think just one will be fine for me uh still a really good release that ba 787 has been in high demand for quite some time i hope they'll follow that up with a dash nine in the future so great release right there the caribbean airlines max i also think is a very good aircraft right there that's a really helpful aircraft for anybody in the caribbean looking for that or anywhere that will fly in the north uh all right sorry united states great airplane there another delta 8 to 20 i think is also helpful those don't come up on the ebay for great prices so glad to get to see another one on the first hand market uh these two interactives are really cool this fedex one 
especially really does spark my interest so maybe i'll consider getting this in the future i think they come to dallas every now and then so i probably could find a way to make a use out of that and the eddie had's also very cool too and the national electric is a really nice plane that rounded out with the nice retro release right there and that's going to be very popular among retro collectors too very nice and the c 17 is also a really cool release especially if you're looking for kind of a plain one that's a good one to buy right there uh, for our 1 to 200s, like I said, this is a fantastic release, and I definitely hope to see some of these transpire. The 1 to 400, but in general, this 1 to 200 release is very good. There's something for everybody. The BA380 is going to be super popular among the American A319. You also got two, uh, I'm sorry, I think this is a modern plane. So I think you have two retro planes that are really nice right here with the Comair Brasilia and also the Electra for Eastern, which I think is very helpful. The Condor is also very nice for anybody looking for that, along with the Emirates A380. Finally, that's a really good release. Uh, the Flare Max is very nice for anybody that thinks they would like that. So good job there on that. And also the Ita uh, A319 is also very nice and I'm watching it the whole time. I apologize. But still, uh, definitely not your most stellar release. This is average at best, I would say. Still a pretty decent release right here, but ultimately it's probably going to be one that most people pass on for most of these aircraft i would argue that the october set was definitely better just kind of taking a look at this definitely i would say it was with the uh, american a319 is probably a little bit more popular than your 320 but probably about even delta 753 united 753 still a good release and probably going to be a big saver for me so i can get ready for hopefully a big december or a big ng release coming up this month so it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of this but average at best not your worst but not your best so let me know what you guys think of it and let me know which ones you guys are planning to get in the comment section very excited to hear it's going to be pretty interesting to see what you guys have to say about this one definitely an interesting release hopefully you're able to find something for it if not save up your money get ready for the next release it's going to be awesome and definitely not a bad release right there excited to see it and pretty good stuff right there so with all that being said that will do for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video my name is director of aviation i want to thank you guys so much for watching take it easy everybody stay safe trust the process do what you love and love what you do my name is director of aviation i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon as director of aviation is signing off